Why is marriage such a big deal for Catholics? Why would anyone go through months and months of marriage prep when you could just go to the courthouse? What's the point? Isn't a Catholic marriage certificate just a piece of paper anyway? Here's the thing. While a lot of people think of a Catholic marriage as just a contract, that's not actually what a Catholic marriage is. When you think about it, it's really not even a contract at all. Instead, it's a sacred covenant that a man and a woman enter into. But what does that mean? What is a covenant? To really understand what a covenant is, we need to go all the way back to the book of Exodus, where God enters into a covenant with the Israelites at the foot of Mount Sinai. And what he does here is God intervenes in history and he makes himself known to the Israelites and he invites them to come and enter into this very special and sacred relationship with him. And by joining this covenant, by entering into this covenant, the Israelites are promising to dedicate themselves fully to their God, to worship him and to honor him as no other people or nations could. And once they enter into this contract, it's something that endures forever, no matter what happens, no matter what hardships they might face. God is never going to break this contract. This contract between God and the Israelites is something that's truly eternal. And just like God called the Israelites to enter into this really special and sacred relationship with him, he calls certain people to the married life. Marriage is a sacred calling and a vocation and God is calling you to enter into this incredibly special relationship with another person where you're to set your ego aside and to give fully of yourself to that other person. You're committing to take care of them, to love them, to stand by their side no matter what happens, and above all, to help them to grow in holiness and to strengthen their relationship with God. And the same is true for any children that you might have. For any children that you're blessed with, you're also to put their needs above your own and to nurture them and to help them grow in their faith and to help them to become good people and good Catholics. Is any of this easy? No, not at all. How could it be when we're all fallen people living in a fallen world where we all have so many flaws and so many imperfections and the world that we live in is so complicated and so crazy and oftentimes so cruel. In this world, it's not easy. And marriage also does involve an element of sacrifice too, where your needs are not number one anymore, but you have to really consider the needs of another person as well. And despite how challenging and difficult this world is, by entering into this marriage covenant, you are committing to stay by that person's side throughout any hardships you might endure, to love that person, to love one another, in spite of the flaws and imperfections that you have and to never ever leave each other no matter how difficult life gets. Now a lot of people enter into marriage but very few people seem to have this understanding of what marriage really is all about. And sadly even many Catholics who get married in the church enter into Catholic marriage without really understanding what it's truly about. But when a Catholic marriage 
is done right. It's something that's truly transformational. It's something that helps you to transcend that very self-centered and flawed human nature and to rise up to a higher level and to become truly children of God. Children of God who bring light and God's love into the world. And when you think about it that way, you realize that ultimately marriage is a path to holiness for you and for your spouse. And that's what makes a Catholic marriage so incredibly powerful and so transformative and so very holy. Thank you for taking the time to listen to my thoughts about a Catholic marriage. I really hope that coming away from this video, you have a clearer sense of what a Catholic marriage is really all about. And if you enjoyed this video, I really hope that I'll see you again in two more weeks in my next video, where I will talk to you about Catholic marriage prep and about what that's really about. Thank you for being here and have a blessed day.